Hi guys, I'm Mr. Razor, and welcome to my channel. And welcome back to those, take a look at those Target dollar bullseye deals from the Target Part 2 stationery and craft storage haul that I recently uploaded. So as I promised in this, the Target Part 2 video, that I would do a closer look at these pens that I bought. All of these came from the bullseye deal section at the front of their store. Each set here was only a buck each, which is a really good deal for just like um, pens, like some good deals on like simple pens in general. And so here I got um, the two packs of stamp markers to writing sets and then each of these writing sets comes with a double sided highlighter a gel pen and a double sided marker which is like one it's like the brush tip and the fine point tip and then i also got a set of white chalk markers and right here um a pack of gold and silver metallic markers So as I promised that I would quickly do a um, swatch these out and review them and just test them out for you guys and give you my opinion. And so let's just head right on to that. And so now starting off with the stamp markers. There were two sets. There was, um, a, there's here the a yellow and red set and a green and black set. They want a check mark, a star, a dollar sign, and just a O, or like you know, like a circle with a black. And now let's open these and just test them out. So here I got my handy note cards that I always use to do my pen swatches on and marker swatches. So let's start off with the dollar sign here. I think so. There's actually two sides to this, I believe. So there's oh, so it's not just a stamp marker, but um, one side is just like a regular bold tip marker. And so I think that's basically why on the package, um, actually, it says that, so. There's a dollar sign, and then it's also that tip on the other side. So let's just watch this one really quick. And then this side, yep, there's that dollar sign stamp marker. So It's a bit thick, or maybe I just pressed it a bit too hard. Yeah, test this out. There we go. I think I mastered that now. So it's actually a pretty thick dollar sign. Like on, it, it's kind of hard to see, but um, this one it doesn't look that thick. But when you put it down on the paper, that's how it looks like. That's a green marker. And here's a black one. This is the one with a circle. But to start off, here's the bold side. The bold, just marker, tip side. Overall, this is just perfectly like a regular thick marker. And just a circle, so. I haven't used the stamp markers in like, I don't even know when I ever, if I ever use like stamp markers. So this one you can press probably like a little more back and forth to get the full circle. Oh. Because it's not as like intricate in a way with the dollar sign. So 
So, I'm not the best with these stamp markers here, so. There we go. Takes a few tries. But that's a black circle one. So overall, I mean, for a buck, for two, it's not a bad deal. I say that um, I think the evenness with when you, it might just be me, but the evenness when I'm actually like doing the stamp, you have to like kind of like do that little rollish thing with your finger, I mean with your hand to fully get the full mark. Oh, well, the check mark one is working pretty well here. It's probably because it's not like the full, when the stamp takes up like the full circle, it's like harder. For example, the circle one. But so the check mark's only like half of it. When you put the pressure on just like part of it, the whole thing shows up. There's that red one. And then last but not least for the these stamp markers, here's that yellow one. This one's for the star. Let's see if I can fit this on here at the bottom. Again, just a regular marker on that side. Let's fit the star here, get it right. Yeah, and the star one. Yeah, the star one's actually going on pretty well. Got on the first try, maybe just needed a few more. Get used to the whole stamp action here. So there's the, those four stamp markers. So it was a buck for two with the green and black in one set and the red and yellow in the other set. Overall, I think it's a perfectly good, really good deal. Um, if you want to stamp markers, the only one that was a bit trickier was a circle because you'd have to get the perfect like level stamp to get the full circle. But other than that, it might have just been that marker for me, but... The oh, after I did the few of the green ones that turned out well, the red ones, the check marks turned out well, and even the yellow star was the one, so it perked ended up perfectly fine. Again, it was just a circle one that took a little more work, but overall, yeah, pretty good. So, these are basically just like your general markers with the stamps on the end. And next up, we have those two writing sets. So this one's um, blue, black, and this one's like pink and yellow. And so again, again, just to show you, make, show you guys, is the one double-sided highlighter, a gel pen, and a double-sided marker. So they're basically making the most out of like all of these dollar deals by having all those markers being double-sided. So starting off, I'm probably gonna start off with the pink set here. Um, and as here, again, another note card. Let's start out with the gel pen here. I actually um, do them both at the same time. I'll do like the gel pens of each, then the the marker of each, the I mean the highlighter of each, and then the marker. So it's just a uh... so far from my impression. So this one is should be like the the medium tip or like the point seven tip. And this this feel it's just like the regular I mean it's a buck so it just feels like that regular like cheap standard gel pen. It's like this would be like the type of gel pen that you would find for like in those massive like sets of gel pens that you can find of like over a hundred of them. 
for like a very for like 20 like 15 20 bucks for like a hundred of them so it's that kind of like the cheaper end um gel pen material but overall the color looks perfectly bright and it writes perfectly fine not the smoothest but still good for i mean especially for the price And these dollar sets, actually, the way that Target has them packaged for, like, you get a sample of each. This is perfect for journaling, especially um, b beginning bullet journalists um, who don't exactly know what kind of pens that they want or whether they want to use highlighters or brush markers. This one just has a little bit of everything, so... It's just a very good like trial set. So that's the gel pen right here. And next up we got the highlighter. So this one's a yellow highlighter, dual tipped. I'm pretty sure that, so there's the chiseled end. Uh, right, highlighter. Probably be easier if I started with the other side so I can write that because this is obviously a fine point now after the, I don't know if I can focus, but the fine point tip after the thick one. Yeah, it's going to be a bit hard to see, but overall, this is like the very cheap, I mean, for a buck again, this is like that very, very cheap highlighter, very light. The quality is like, again, not the best. Like for, as usual, the value for gel pens, this gel pen looks pretty good for uh, being a cheap one. The highlighters typically in general will never look like when you get the cheaper ones they tend to look a bit just like this so it's probably just because it's the yellow one it's hard to see but the blue one's actually writing pretty good Yeah, I, I don't know. It might have just been that yellow set, but um, the blue one's actually working out much better than that yellow one. And last but not least, of course, we still have the brush pens. And this one I'm going to use another note card. Again, starting off with that pink. It's fun how they actually added like a nice f design on these. Well, on the brush pen at least. I'm actually gonna again start with the fine tip this time. So this is dual tipped. Marker. So this is actually a really, really big, like, brush tip pen. It's, like, super, like, super big. Well, it's actually, I think this is, it's not really a brush pen. I mean, it is a brush pen, but it's more of just, like, a big marker tip. Because, let me see. Yeah, it's like a bit more of like hard tipped. Like, so it's like not going to be a super like brush marker. 
So, well, in general, it's not really a brush marker at all. It just looks like a brush marker, but it's basically like another bold, bold sided. Bold sided marker. So not exactly what I expected, but it is again dual tipped and it does have that fine tip side and the thicker side. I don't, I don't really think that you can do much brush lettering with this. I don't think it was intended for that, but it does do like the thicker, thicker side um, marker. So here's the, that blue one. Whoa, it's blue or black? Oh yeah, I think this one's black. Like, for example, the in the pink set, it was pink and pink and then yellow. So this one is actually, yeah, black and black and blue. So I'm actually liking, I like the fine point side better. The fine point writes just like any other like fine point marker, but the other side. Like, I don't really think you can do. Yeah, you can do like partial. But it's not going to do like super good, like if you wanted to use this for brush lettering, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you can't really do that really, it's just super thick, like either way. So that's just, again, my opinion and my review on this. So for a buck, feel free to pick it up from Target. I mean, again, it is a really good deal, just low price marker. So, my general review of this set is that the gel pen's pretty good, the gel pen works pretty good, um, and the fine point sides of the markers are good. The thicker end, not as good, especially for the brush pens, and it's kind of all over the place a bit, because I find that the black and blue set came out better than the pink and yellow set again it might have just been because the yellow is harder to see on the paper but overall still again one dollar value pretty good gives you a nice test out feel of the different um pens out there so yeah hope that was helpful and now let's move on to the next set. So now for the next set, um, we have the white chalk markers. And since white chalk markers won't work on like regular, like regular white paper, I have here my like chalkboard. The again, I showed that it got for three bucks. It came with another chalk pen and. This holder that it basically you just slide this in and then it stands up straight. If I can only get it to fit, but there we go. Yeah, so this just slides right in. And it just stands up straight. And I really like it because I just have it set it straight on the, the, my table. And then I can just see everything straight up. I don't need to open up my journal or anything. So everything's just right there. So I have those chalk markers here, which I'm going to test on this. Just a simple white chalk marker. So it's erasable with a damp cloth, as expected with most chalk markers. 
So let me see if I, I I'm, yeah, I'm sure, yep, I need to shake it up a bit. And then let's see, there we go. Wow, that was quick, it instantly started up. See that white? Cut off there, but white chalk marker. Yep, it works just as expected as like a, any other white chalk marker. So that's actually a pretty good deal actually for two chalk markers. So that is Actually, yeah, a pretty good deal for two of those. So, so this one um, is definitely a good deal that um, I would recommend if you just needed a quick chalk marker to write on a chalkboard, or obviously, but... If you just needed a quick grab, this is a great quick grab for white chalk markers. In now for the final item of the Dollar Deal Bullseye Target deals. I have these this just simple set of one gold and silver metallic markers. So it's just two simple, very basic, again, uh, markers. And for these, I once again have my handy note cards. I'm going to start off with the silver. It's an, just a nice, thick, bold marker here. Yeah, this one overall, for just like a cheap, basically 50 cents each, this is a really good, so far, I'd recommend. Quick grab for metallic markers. Especially if you're just working on a simple project or you need to write on a surface in which needs like, you know, silver in order to show up. So there's a gold. So the gold actually turned out, yeah, it's obviously gold. It's kind of like one of the darker side golds. Pretty good for um, just a buck for some metallic markers. So this one I would also recommend because I mean, it writes exactly how I'd want if I needed a nice, simple, bold metallic marker. And so, yeah, over here's again, it's just a I kind of assemble this to kind of see a quick overview of the pens and their swatches. My overall review of these, since they're all just like a buck for like two or a set for each set that I showed. You can't really go wrong when it's only a buck to try out. The ones that I think that are actually worth it for the buck are the stamp markers. The stamp markers are pretty good. Um, the chalk markers and the metallic markers. The actual, like the, just the gel pen and the gel pen, the highlighter and the brush marker. I think that you can get like a much better deal if you bought like just a bigger set. Um, of like the nicer gel pens. I mean not just nicer gel pens, but even if you got like this kind of quality gel pen You can get a much larger bulk amount for a very fairly cheap price And highlighters again, you can find for very cheap even though um, if it's like a 
for example, I mean, the best best way to ex explain highlighter is that, again, you can get, like, a five-pack of, like, the high-end brands, like, Sharpie, from, like, two, three bucks to, like, five bucks, so. Um, I wouldn't, the markers here were okay, and the brush markers, I personally did not like, like, the brush tip, the so-called brush tip side was not really that good at all, but the fine point tip side was just like perfectly fine like any other marker. So for a buck a pack, I mean, it's okay. Especially if you just wanted like something simple to try out with and not really used for a long time because these don't seem like they're going to last that long. But yeah, for a buck, you can't really beat that. And so that is my general overview of these Target Bullseye stationary pen deals. Feel free to go check them out yourself too. Um, and so I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is my review of these items here. Make sure to check out my channel for more stationary hauls and stationary reviews i will have a lot more pen reviews coming up from a lot of sets of pens from my previous videos and again as usual if you like this video make sure to like hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this i also do lots of minimalist bullet journaling video videos art and drawing to again more stationary hauls lettering videos and i have lots more fun content just showing a lot of my personal collections i am a huge hoarder of stuff and i love collecting lots of things from stationery to marvel star wars stuff because i'm also a huge movie maniac fanatic or whatever but i hope you guys again enjoy this video and i'll see you in another one